this is John Kamali of JK Financial, and this is our Q4 newsletter. Yes, it's already Q4, and I've got the new camera. Look at this. If you're looking, this camera is so smart. Heck, it's maybe going to tell me what to do. Um, for those of you that are longtime followers, I'm going to push myself up here in the corner real quick. The, my other camera was the, just giving me the devil of a time, and it was trying to focus all of the time, and so I had to sit here super, super still. So I'll spend the first 30 seconds of us talking about that. Uh, those of you that are in listen-only mode, uh, we do this in a video audio podcast type of format so that I can kind of uh, give you the granularity of what was going on when we were uh, the subjects of each of the newsletters. And this, again, is our Q4 2024 newsletter. And we start with a invitation to, back seven years ago, we did a, a fun event. And this, this is um, basically the Alex Camp House. The cool part about this is we have this house. We have, we're going to have uh, some light food set up out back. And even better, we have great parking. So you'll enter, we'll send the, uh, the directions out and everything. We have great directions. It is the typical Saturday before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving comes very late this year. So it's Saturday, November 23rd. That is not Thanksgiving. So don't put it on your calendars. Thanksgiving from 1 to 3. And then we can tour the park until 5. We actually get out of the room about 2.30 or 3. So everybody can scatter and go have fun. Uh, so we will send out inv invites about 30 days out. But uh, we still have plenty of time. For those of you that are in listen-only mode, like I said, keep your hands on the wheel. Be safe because we're driving down the road. Don't want you to have an accident. I always say that. That's a little bit funny. Okay. Um, here is, for those of you that may want to come to the website, here's actually the entire newsletter. You can download it. Um, it has all of the various um, articles, and it's in a format. I'll clear that out. It's in a format where you can slide it up and down. Let's go over a couple. There's a couple of articles in here that are repeat articles that I do for repetition, so we won't forget. And I'm not. I'm going to go over those quickly. But this is a really new one, and I think I'm going to get a lot, especially with the latest uh, events in uh, Florida. We've got. I'm, I'm sending best wishes to a lot of my friends and family down there. Um, why are homeowners and automobile insurance skyrocketing? Basically, to a couple of things. Number one, this, this chart on the left is the Mannheim Index, and it shows the unique event of automobile prices going up. And essentially, automobile prices, for the most part, generally go down. And so the insurance companies are coming back and recapturing those increased liabilities. Same thing on homes. Homes have, home ownership and homes have gone up in value, so the insurance companies are on the hook for more, so they have to charge more. That compounded with the fact that we've had some major events, as I just mentioned, in Florida. We've had a lot in Texas as well, my home state. The, the abundance of an insurance company is to, just like we do as investors, is to diversify our risk. And so using Texas as an example, Dallas has not had too many problems, but Houston certainly has. Well, I'm going to supplement the Houston folks and Donald DeBrain for all of the damages that have been happening there with our premiums, just like they would do vice versa through the diversification. How do we fight this? Well, we just fight this with having a good emergency fund and keeping our deductibles high. But don't just run out there and adjust your deductibles very high. Oh, look at this camera. It is keeping up. I can move around. I don't have to act like a stick figure here. I can see it moving. So um, this is not carte blanche to go out and just randomly raise your deductible to try and lower your premium because I do find a lot of times it's very helpful, but not always. So thought a good explanation. I've had a lot of comments already on this. Um, by the way, the reason that this video is coming so late, I know many of you have had this in your hand, is because of this camera, and I've been waiting to get a, ver a better video camera. It took a while to get all of the logistics of this set up, not only the camera being two weeks delayed. Okay, early investor special, building and keeping good credit. A lot in here. There, there's a, I'm going to try and hit the, the high points quickly so we don't take up too much room. In order to, to get credit, you have to start credit. I know it sounds like we're talking out of uh, both sides of our minds. I say we as financial planners, we begrudgingly must admit that we've got to get credit. You wouldn't have all the money in the world, but if we're not on the radar, it's hard to get credit. And once we get it, we got to take care of it. Make sure, nurture it, pay off our pay off, don't run up bills. Make sure that you are a good credit risk. Pay them off regularly. Now that you've got cards or some sort of lines of credit, keep those. In particular, at least one of your favorite credit cards. Don't cancel it because you'll lose your credit history. That's the big crazy one. And it's talking out of both sides of our mouth of a financial uh, planner. 
I've got an 18-year-old daughter, and we keep we right when she turned 18, I tried to get her uh, a credit card, and she got declined. So we're going to try again when she turns 19. It's not easy out there. So if you are declined, don't um, don't feel bad. It happens to everybody. All right, in the part in my parting thoughts, I put something. This is it, I, I mentioned that I would tell a secret, and the secret is. One of the main articles was going to be about uh, the effects on the capital markets and politics, and it got cut. It hit the floor, which sometimes happens. So in parting thoughts, basically, um, those of you in listen-only mode, I'm, I've got an excerpt from the parting thoughts. In parting thoughts, the capital markets, the economy grows based on economic growth. And while we there's a certain amount of us that are will likely be disappointed in either one of the outcomes of the election. I'm talking election, that's the politics uh, that are coming up. It it likely doesn't have that much effect um, on our investments. There are certainly some winners and losers, but not dramatic. Okay, I'm, those of you in listen only mode, I scroll back up to the virtual newsletter, and here's, um, it's not virtual, I guess it is virtual. Um, because you're watching it this way. Here's a great chart of uh, the credit card balances, which is just amazing. Um, and then there's one other reminder, and it's um, just the, the qualms about maxing out our 401ks. So, And then one more that really goes, this is a reminder. I'll have to make sure that I push this out, and that is that we do need to get, a, you annually, it's a good idea to get our, our free credit report. That is a report, not a score. Had this discussion today with Jen at the office. It's not necessarily a score; it's a report, and so the onus is on us to review that, see if there are any um, erroneous. Uh, you know, there are some liabilities on there that are not uh, yours, and you'll get some numbers on there. The last time I did it was about thirty pages. It's really long, and I could go through and see all. I mean, it has the history from everything. I could go see and see. That from thankfully, there was nothing on there that was bad. Things like in the in the good old days, Sears used to be a big culprit of uh, hitting your credit cards, um, and then also cell phone companies. So, okay, guys, that's it. That is our Q4. Um, I did do something up here. I said break in reminder, Arboretum, fantastic, and I misspelled it. <laughs> close parking lot. Uh, I'll fix that. But close parking parking lot. Be there, be square. We look forward to seeing you there, and we thank you. Seven minutes went a little long, but I got the new camera going. All right, have a good one. Bye bye.